Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com, and on this video I'll be making the beat for Usher, yeah, produced by Lil Jon. Yeah! Okay. Right click and go to M Class Mastering Suite Combi. Now, choose the dance setting, and this will kind of beef up our sound because we're going to run our mixer through here. Now, let's make our mixer. Right click and go mixer 14 to 2. And this is what we will be running all the synths and the drums through. Okay. Now let's get to work on the beat already. Right click and go to Redrum Drum Computer. And I have conveniently um, placed a drum kit for this occasion right there. Um, it's got the bass drum, the clap, some hi hats open and closed, and a nice little bell sound. So let's get to work making this beat. The bass drum first. The tempo is 105 for this song, so make sure you change that. Okay, so it's on the 1 and the 11, the bass drum. Yeah. Now the claps on the 5 and 13. And put those hats on 8. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, nearly got there in time. And just the one little open hi hat at the end there on the 15. And let's put in some nice little random bells on 11, 13, and 15. Okay, there we've got our beat on the go. Now let's get the synths working. Right click and go to Molstrom Grain Table Synthesizer. Now get rid of the um, irritating preset. Initialize patch, that was. Um, now we're just going to make the put the notes in first. So um, click on this switch to edit mode button. Let's just drag this up so we can see. And here are our notes. Okay, the notes are G D G D G E flat G E flat G D. So let's get that on the go. By the way, the nice shortcut keys Q and W to switch between the um, selection tool and the pencil tool. Nice and convenient. Semitone higher. And then let's just copy that across. Go back to switch to arrange mode. Just cancel that. Uh, go to bar so it'll snap to the bar. And then just switch those two notes around. Okay, there's our notes. Okay, let's make the actual synth sound. That's kind of ravey, and the ideal rave lead effect involves the sawtooth 16. Let's get rid of these filters. Okay, there we go. Just detune them a little bit. That gives it a bit more power. Okay. Now, don't worry about the reverb and delay. We'll do that at the end. Let's just get everything in there at the moment. Okay, next we'll want the strings. So, right click and go to Malstrom. I'm, I'm going to be dealing with Malstrom today because I like Malstrom. It's cool. Right click it, go to Initialize Patch. And on here somewhere should be the strings. Do that for both oscillator A and B. Get strings up. You can do two oscillators, it just makes it more powerful. Detune it a little bit. Again, switch to edit mode. And then the strings are just constantly the G note. I believe it's alternating octaves actually in this chorus. So we'll start off with just... Let's get a 16th I believe it is. Let's make those four and then copy and paste. Time saving for the win. Not sixteenths. Eighth. Remember my shortcut keys, Q and W. Oh. Simple as that's it. Now at the moment they're kind of running into each other those strings. So let's take down the um, decay and sustain a bit. Long, because the alternating octaves, as I was saying. 
I'll just group those. Join the clips. And join those two clips. Right click, join clips. Now for this one, I just want to take it down an octave. So just click and drag down to the lower G. Ooh, uh, wrong note. My mistake. I think I've gone down two octaves by accident, actually. Nope, I was right. There we go. Okay, there we've got our strings as well. And now we just need that random little bit of sign synth. You'll know what I mean when I put it in. Right click, Molstrom Grain Table Synthesizer. Again, right click, Initialize Patch. And we'll just click here and go to switch to edit mode and then the notes higher up this for this effect um, C, D, E flat and then D for the end little bit so we'll start at the end logically <laughs> okay I think this is sixteenths Okay, that's the end bit. And then the start, we want to draw another little bit. <coughs> I'm just drawing there and then double clicking it to open it. C, D, B flat, C, G sharp for this section. C, D, B flat, C, G sharp. Okay, C. C, D. There we go. Okay, before I forget, let's name all these. That's the lead. That's the strings. And that's the sign. I think that sign needs to be higher. So let's take this octave up one. That's better. And let's add a bit of portamento, not too much. Portamento just means it, it kind of slides between the notes instead of being a sharp change. And we also need a bit of portamento on this lead here. So this is, that's better. Okay, so now we've got all the music. Right click the mixer, go create, and um, RB7000 Advanced Reverb. Now, up here, it's automatically, if you press tab to look at the back, it's automatically chained, uh, it's automatically been put into the auxiliary output. So if you turn it up, oh, that's the beat. You get a bit of reverb there. Gives it a bit more space. Let's see what presets we've got. Um, does it sound like in a barn? Bit strange. What does it sound like in a hall? There we go. widen the, st the uh, stereo field a bit. Let's pan this to a bit to the right. The strings a bit to the left. Okay, how about that? And now you too can be in the club with your homies, trying to get a little VI, keeping it down on a low key. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, www.boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!